everybody, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're having a good day and welcome back to another video. Hello there everybody, welcome back to my channel, I do hope you're having a good day, and can I just pause there and say what on earth was that intro? Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done this sort of video. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're, we're going to be doing the second collection um, update, and taking a look through my collection, and seeing how it's grown since the last time I did that um, video, which I think it's safe to say that I've changed quite a lot since then. My voice certainly has, obviously I haven't done a face reveal on this channel yet, so you don't know what I look like, but I certainly have changed. And I think my collection has changed quite a lot as well. I'm now up to a total of 26 aircraft um, and almost 130 subscribers, which I'm so thankful for, so thank you for that. Um, yeah, it, the, the channel's grown a lot since then, so without further ado, let's take a look and let's see um, how we've been growing. Also, a quick disclaimer, if this video seems a little bit shaky, that's because my tripod's broken at the moment. Um, I'm trying to fix it, but um, as it is, um, of course, being new, new Year and everything, I want, I want to get this video out in 2022. Um, so I'm afraid it's just going to be a little bit shaky for today. But the first aircraft here is a British Airways A380. Now, this is the only A380 I own, and this was actually, apart from the collector set, which we'll see later on, this was the first proper Gemini Jets model I ever bought, and that was probably back four or five years ago now, so really we have gone quite a long way. And next to him is an El Al Israeli 747-400. Um, this is in the Goodbye 747 livery, and of course these have now all sadly been retired, um, but I do still operate it at ANL International Airport because I just think it's a brilliant model, and it's very much at home here in my collection. Moving on to the twin jets then, we have this Virgin Atlantic A350. Now this is one of two A350s I own, and this is the longer 1000 variant. I'm very fond of this model, it's, it, was, it was one of the first um, ones that I got after starting my YouTube channel for my birthday a couple of years ago, um, so it's always sort of felt pretty sentimental to me. Um, and yeah, that's really, that's a really brilliant model, that one. And next to him is the other A350 that I've got. And this is a Turkish Airlines one, and this is actually one of my newest models, and it's absolutely brilliant. I haven't launched the review on that yet, I did have to refilm it because I just wasn't very happy with it. Um, but as you'll see when the, when the re review comes out, um, for the price I paid for this model, it's an absolutely brilliant quality and very much well worth the money, so do check that out when it comes out. And next to him is an American 777-300ER. This is another model which I just absolutely love. I'm going to say this for all of them because I love all the models in my collection. Um, but yeah, really, really fond of this one. I've also had this one for a long time. And this is very much a long-standing member of the fleet as well. So we're getting gradually smaller as we go through the fleet. But this is a Brussels Airlines A330-300. As you can see, this has sort of the whitened out nose at the front. And this is also another one of my newer purchases. Um, which is operating from ANL International out to Brussels, um, and yeah, I, this is a very good good model from from Phoenix as well. I have really been starting to get into my Phoenix models. I just think that the value and the quality you get sort of makes the other manufacturers um, not make so much sense in terms of buying. And, and when Phoenix make models that are sort of good for the European collector like this, um, I sort of couldn't really resist picking it up. Um, moving on, we have a KLM A330-200. This is also another veteran of the fleet, um, and he's been operating to and from Amsterdam for years and years, doing triangular routes and that sort of thing. 
And although you wouldn't see this sort of aircraft sort of in the UK very much in real life from KLM, I have enjoyed using it and it does serve its purpose well. And then finally on the end there we have the Azerbaijan 767-300, that's in the retro livery. Um, and yeah, that's another Phoenix model, which I think is possibly the cheapest model I've ever bought. I think that was like £19.50 when I bought that from the aircraft model store a couple of years ago. Um, and, you know, for that price, I mean, you can't really go wrong. It gets used quite a lot. It's not the most detailed um, or the most precise, but actually, you know what, it does all right in this collection. So I thought we'd just pause and talk a, a little bit quickly about the GSE. Um, now, I, this collection isn't huge, basically everything you see here is what I have. In case you're wondering why I only have three pushback tractors, I did used to have four and I think one of them ended up in the Hoover at some point, so that's sort of sad for that one. Um, but yeah, I, this is something that I'm really looking at expanding for my new airport, um, and you know, that will be really good to have some more GSE and make it look a little bit more realistic. But as it is, I have, the, these are all Herpa. Um, I have four yellow airport buses and I have three pushback tractors. Carrying on with the wide bodies on the taxiway then, we're moving on to my favourite aircraft class. Um, these are the 787 Dreamliners, I just absolutely love them. Just the way they look, the design, the whole, you know, I just absolutely love the 787s. So the first one here is a Dash 9, um, of which I have three and this one is an Oman Air one. This is a Phoenix model and this was one of the first model, I think it was actually the first model review that I did sort of since coming back to YouTube um, this year. Um, so obviously I have missed a little bit of the year um, off with sort of lack of motivation and not really uploading for the channel. But this was sort of my introduction back into doing YouTube videos so I'm quite happy with this one. Next up we have really a favourite of the channel. This has appeared, I think it's safe to say that it's appeared in pretty much every airport update I've ever done. Um, if you do want to go back and check, then I'm not going to stop you, but I'd imagine you've got better things to do with your time. Yeah, this is the Thai 787-9 Dreamliner. Absolutely beautiful. I think just out of history, and this has always been my favourite model in my collection. Um, although the next one is about to challenge that because it is the NG Models Zhenyao Airlines 787-9 Dreamliner. And although it sort of looks a little bit washed out on camera, in real life, this is the most beautiful model you've ever seen. It's really, really good. The mould is absolutely brilliant, um, and that Zhenyao livery is just perfect. And then onto the final 787 then, this is a Dash 8 variant, and this is the Air Canada in the old colours. After the British Airways A380, this was the next model that I bought, and this was sort of when I decided that I really wanted to get into collecting and I think I built a small, well I say built, I drew some lines on my desk for a small model airport um, when I was waiting for this to be delivered just because I was so excited about starting to get into this hobby properly. So this one is always going to be really special to me. And the final two, I suppose you could say wide bodies, although arguably they aren't wide bodies. This is an Icelandair 757-200 by NG Models. Ever since I've got this model, it's been absolutely brilliant. I do adore this one. It's an NG Models one, so obviously it's very good quality, and I just remember getting this and being so happy with it. And then one of my freight aircraft, one of my two freight aircraft, which you're gonna see in today's update. This is another NG Model 757, and it's in a special livery. So this is the DHL uh, 757 PCF, which stands for Passenger Converted Freighter. And as you can see at the back there, it has the James May sort of face on it from when they did their thing with Amazon Prime and that is called the Hair Force One livery. Moving on to the um, narrow bodies then, we have this A220-300. This is currently the only A220 in my collection um, and it's in the Air Baltic Latvia 100 livery. This aircraft has also appeared a lot and actually to be honest in terms of a model it really isn't a very good model. Um, I wasn't happy with this really when I got it and I've still never really been that happy with it. Um, I am going to be doing a review on it at some point because I think it is important that Gemini Jets sort of try to address some of the problems with this mould because it's just, it really isn't a very good mould for the A220. Anyway, so that's the first aircraft and then moving on to the front row we have my collector set and I, and I will leave a sort of a drop down thing in the top in that corner of the screen for you to go and take a look at my review of these if you'd like to. There's a little bit of history about them there as well and sort of about the set as well. But basically these were the first Gemini jets I ever got. 
I got them, I think, on my 10th birthday in Harrods in London. Um, and really, I, ha I, I haven't looked back from there. Absolutely beautiful models. I mean, they aren't in mint condition anymore. As you can see, they're missing front ties and that sort of thing. But I'm just so fond of these models. Really brilliant. Um, and I have been using them in my current operations around a &L International. Just because really I don't have that many British Airways aircraft. Apart from these, I've actually only got two others. So it sort of leaves me fairly limited uh, with what I can do unless I do use them. Anyway, moving on, we have the next or final cargo aircraft. This is another one of my really new ones as well. Um, but I've wanted to get my hands on it for absolutely ages. This is a West Atlantic 737-800 PCF. And it's just brilliant. It's a Phoenix model. I've been trying to get my hands on this for for, for, for quite a while and, and it, it, it disappeared from the aircraft model store um, a while ago and that made me really sad. So when it appeared up there again, I was happy that they had it back in stock. So I decided to pick it up. And again, another really reasonable good price. I think I paid about £30 for this one. Um, really, really good model. And it's, a, um, it's an airline that I think a lot of people sort of see but no one really notices. And I think it's actually a really elegant livery and just a sort of a, a pretty good model. So moving on to my final 737. Yes, I do only have two. This is a Southwest 737 Max 8. And as you can see, it does have an enormous chip um, out of the top above the cockpit. That happened, I think it was a couple of days after I received the model for Christmas one year. I just dropped it. It chipped. It happens. Unfortunately, the, this model gets hardly any use, and I am considering selling it and sort of using the money to buy something more useful. But I am kind of quite fond of it now as well. It is sort of a staple in the collection, so I'm not sure if I'll end up doing that, but that's that. So moving on to the final rank then, we have the Airbus rank. Now these are all A320s or in the A320 series. And this first one is going to be really recognisable to you. I've been using it in um, thumbnails quite a lot for years. Um, just because it's such a photogenic model. So this is the Aer Lingus A320-200 in the new livery and I just think it looks absolutely beautiful in that livery. It's a really good model. I've had it for years and I'm just very fond of it. Next up we have really quite a surprise. I don't think you guys, if, if you just follow my YouTube and, if, and you don't follow my Instagram, you won't actually have seen this model before. Those of you who follow my Instagram you will have done. But this is a SkyTeam Middle Eastern Airlines A320-200 and this has got the winglets. And this is one of my newer purchases as well. And, the, and it's my first sort of SkyTeam, you know, livery. Um, and I, th I, I really like it, you know, as, sh as a short haul aircraft they do serve um, London Heathrow, which is sort of what my airport's loosely based on, and I think it's actually just a very nice model to have. Really cheap again from Phoenix, and in, to, in general, a really good quality model. Next up, we have a British Airways A320 Neo. This is another brilliant model. I mean, the, the, they all are um, just, yeah, really good. It gets a lot of use. It's in pretty much every airport update, whether it's Will Scarlet International Airport, or whether it's... Um, forgot the name of my own airport there. a &L International, that's it. God, it's been a long day. Um, so yeah, that's that one. On to the next one. This is another amazingly recognisable one from my thumbnails. This is a Vueling A321 with winglets. Um, this was also one of the first ones I got. I got it along with the um, Air Canada, I believe. Um, and it's just a brilliant looking model. I absolutely love it. A Gemini Jets one. Yeah, I, I meant to say the, the, these two are both Gemini Jets. Um, as is the next one, which is another one that sort of doesn't really fit into my collection here. It's an Alaskan A321 Neo, uh, and it's in the More to Love livery. Um, and this was one that I asked for really early on before I decided that I wanted to model London Airport. And so I've sort of been left with the Alaskan and the Southwestern Airways um, ones which sort of don't really get much use which is very sad I mean this is a beautiful model the finish on it is brilliant and I don't think I could really bring myself to sell it to be honest you know however useless it is you know it is part of my collection and you don't see these A321s around in this livery in 1 to 400 a, a lot um, I think it's a fairly rare model I'm not sure how many they made um, but I'm gonna hang on to it a little bit at least um, to sort of you know, to, to see whether it goes up in value and just because it is a really, really good looking model. So, that's it. Final model here, um, and we're finishing it off with a bang. This is an EasyJet A321neo. 
This is another one that gets brilliant use, um, and it's an NG Models one, um, which I sort of very much had mixed feelings about when I reviewed it. I'll leave the um, card up in the top right hand corner if you would like to go and wa watch the review. It's a brilliant model, but it's £46 I think I paid for it when I bought it, and that's just a ridiculous amount of money. Um, you know, for, for for an A321, that that should be the sort of thing that you're spending on a triple seven or the, or the, or, the, or that or that sort of thing. So I was quite conflicted when I first got got this model, but I'm very glad that I did pick it up. Um, yeah, just a really solid aircraft, and I'm very happy with it. So then, guys, here we are, the end of another year. Um, really, really happy with all of these models. Um, it's been brilliant to do a collection. Actually, I think we're up to 26 models in the collection, which I'm. I'm really happy with, you know, if if sort of me from four or so years ago knew knew, knew that I'd have th this many today, um, I think he'd be pretty happy, and I really am. And I'm really excited to be making more content and hopefully being back more regular. It has been really a very um, sort of off year for this channel, you know, I've taken huge breaks, um, GCSEs, all of that sort of thing, they, 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 they really did ju just get in the way. But I am hoping that in the future I am going to be able to upload more and and carry on doing this because I really do enjoy it. You know, it's it's a lot of work to put videos out, um, but if you enjoy it, if you enjoy the wit, you enjoy the humour and that sort of thing, then I don't see a reason why we should stop. Um, so that is the end of 2022. Thank you so much for sticking with me, you guys who have. Um, you know, I've been absent for a huge part of this year, but I really do appreciate the support that goes into it. Um, and the amount of support that you guys, my, my, my friends, have been giving me. You know, shout outs to Mad Aviation, Ruth Waits, all of those sorts of people who have just really, um, who've really been, been there and been good people to me. Um, so that's about it for now. I'm very thank you for watching. Um, I'm very thank you for watching. God, it's been a long day. We filmed three videos today. This is the final one of which um, y you'll see airport update number 16 coming out in the sort of week or so to come. So yeah, it's been a long day shooting. Um, but that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have a new year and I do wish you good luck for it. And I will see you in the new year. Bye. On to the final rank then. These are the Airbus. We have a total of six A320s here, which makes it my most sort of frequent model in my collection. So starting off at the smallest, we have this Aer Lingus A320. Now this is just, uh, oh my life, what is coming out of my mouth? Oof. Right. Just to clarify that, I'm in the uh, editing process of this video and I think I said I hope you have a new year. What I meant is I hope you have a good new year. Um, yeah, I didn't mean it as morbidly as it sounded. So yeah, have a great new year.